the South Jersey riding scene is nowhere as close as it used to be. You know, a lot of kids have fallen off or had families or it's, it's nowhere close to what it used to be. And I guess it kind of sucks being small, but then again, it's kind of cool because everybody that you ride with are all your best friends. So you really, really don't kind of worry about anybody else and everybody's always constantly pushing you to do more and bigger things and travel and it's just cool. Definitely what I'd like to see in the local scene, there's actually a couple things, is between skate parks, there's not really bike friendly skate parks. I mean, anywhere around here doesn't really accept bikes. You have to at least travel 45 minutes just if you want to go ride and on top of that. There's a lot of local skate parks around, but not a lot in them. I guess kids in the scene with BMX right now take BMX so serious that they think that every that they're gonna get sponsored and get picked up and make millions of dollars off BMX. Yet at the moment, I mean the pros right now don't even make that much money. They make maybe a couple hundred dollars a week off their sponsors and they think they're gonna be so the next superstar. I'm not saying they're not gonna be this next superstar, but it's just their mindset is completely in the wrong thing. They take it from fun to serious and once they get take everything serious, it's not fun no more. So why do you want to do something that's not fun? I guess I chose BMX over other sports because it's not so serious as you got baseball and hockey and football. I mean, you don't have somebody constantly yelling at you that you're doing it wrong or that's not right. There is no right way to BMX. In my eyes, it's just about having fun. Greyhounds is definitely just one of those places where you can just wake up in the morning, grab your bike, grab some hot dogs and hamburgers and just go out there and ride all day and grill. Everybody comes out there, you meet up with all your friends and it's not for somebody to go out and outdo each other and this is better than this and this is better than that. It's just everybody can come together and just hang out and be friends and do what you gotta do. I mean after, the place has been there for probably almost 20 years. But after our skate park got destroyed in Ocean City, we really had no place to go. So we started going out there and building everything up and getting it going. And it's the past couple months have just been amazing. A lot of good riding, a lot of good times, a lot of good memories. Injuries have definitely come along with the sport, without a doubt. I mean, the bigger you go, the worse the falls usually are. I broke my foot pretty bad back in. February, broke in four different places, dislocated it, and truthfully, a couple days later, the only thing I think about was, gotta heal up quick and get back on my bike. That's about it. I mean, other than that, I mean, blown out ankles, rolled ankles, broken feet, broken collarbone, concussions, bruised ribs. I mean, it just it comes with the sport, and do you can take it, you can't. Ha, 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 ha.